Hi, this is the Dyson Omni Glide, and in this review, we're going to look at specifications, we're going to discuss features, and we're going to do some cleaning tests. Now, this vacuum is a little different than anything we've seen before. It's very lightweight, it's quite a slim design. It also has brush rolls on both the front and the back of the cleaner head, and it is designed solely for cleaning hard floors. This is what you get with your Dyson Omni Glide. This is the handheld unit. There is a filter here and a battery in the handle. This is the wand, and this is the dual brush roll cleaner head. You can see that there are soft brush rolls on both sides of the cleaner head. This is a charger and a wall mount, some wall mount instructions, and a mounting kit. This is a quick start guide, and this is a combination tool. It is the only tool that comes with the vacuum cleaner. On the vacuum handle, you'll notice a couple of buttons here. Now this first button turns the vacuum power on and off, and this second button here is max power mode. Now the vacuum has two power modes. It has eco, which is effectively low, and it has max. When you turn the vacuum power on, the machine automatically goes into eco power mode, and you click max, well, it goes into max power mode. You don't have to hold that button down. It stays in max power mode until you click the max power button again. This is the vacuum cleaner head. You can see we've got a soft brush roll on the front and another soft brush roll on the back. Sometimes you might want to clean these. They can get a little bit dirty. Well, there's a little red button here. We push on that and they both slide out. Now these will both come away by pulling on them and they can be rinsed in water. And when they're completely dry, you simply pop them back on and the whole assembly goes back together. There you go. Now, the underside of this also has these four 360-degree rotating caster wheels. Those really help this uh, move very well on a hard surface. And I'd also like to point out that these brush rolls, when they spin, they, they counter-rotate from one another. And you can see what they do is they're pulling debris in here and in here towards the center suction channel. The filter is very easy to remove. This is your filter right here. All you do is give it a twist, slide it off over the handle. Now, like the brush rolls, the filter can be rinsed in water. And when it's completely dry, you simply slide it back on over the handle, give it a twist, and it's reinstalled. Movement of this vacuum on hard flooring is excellent. Another good thing about the vacuum is that it can lay completely flat, and that allows it to get under some very low furniture. And of course, it will run in this configuration. Now we've measured the distance from the floor to the highest point here above the cleaner head, and that's about three and a quarter inches. The battery conveniently resides in the vacuum handle. You can see there's a little button here. If I push down on that, the battery comes out. This is a lithium ion battery. It's also what we sometimes call a swappable or even a click-in battery, which means that it can be uh, detached and reattached to the vacuum typically in seconds. Uh, another advantage of this, if you happen to have a second one, is you know, if you're vacuuming and your battery runs out, well, you can grab a second one if it's been on charge, pop it in the vacuum cleaner, and continue vacuuming, effectively doubling your runtime. Now, the Omni Glide only comes with the one battery. If you want another one, you'll have to buy it. Also, um, if uh, you've run out of battery power, it takes about three and a half hours to recharge one of these. The Omni Glide is what we sometimes refer to as a two-in-one machine. That means it's a stick vacuum, but it's also a handheld. A lot of these stick vacs today are like that. They've got the two components, uh, not all of them, but many. Here we can see, if I press the red button on the top, now this comes off and this is your handheld component. You can put a tool on the end of this and away you go. That's, that's your handheld, it's, pre it's pretty long. Um, and you can even get longer reach if you use the wand. So if we remove the cleaner head, attach the wand, and put the tool on the end of the wand, you can see that we can do, it's pretty good for overhead cleaning and things like that. So it is a two-in-one vacuum cleaner.
we performed a cleaning test on this tile floor. We created our own debris out of ground up Cheerios, flax seeds, split green peas, and chili flakes. Kind of represents a small to medium sized debris. We put it in about a five foot long row, ran the vacuum over it in one pass, and determined percentage pickup. Take a look at one of the runs. That pass was in eco mode, and as you could see, the vacuum did a very good job. We determined pickup to be 99.3%. We put some fruit loops on the tile floor to see how well the OmniGlide would handle larger debris. It did an okay job with the large debris, but not great. I don't think you'd want to use this to pick up a significant amount of large debris, maybe just the occasional piece. We performed a hair cleaning test by putting down short white pet hair and long black human hair on the tile floor. As you could see, the vacuum did not do a very good job with hair. Um, it was pretty average at pickup, and it certainly got a lot of hair tangled around these brush rolls. It would have to be cleaned out. It's probably not the greatest fit for a home with a lot of shedding pets or a lot of hair to deal with. We performed an edge cleaning test by taking chili flakes and putting them right up tight against an edge. We ran the machine over it. Um, I think you can see that the flexibility of that cleaner head came in quite handy and the machine did a pretty good job. Some people may find this vacuum handle a little thick in this direction here. It's a pretty good fit for my hand, but I could see if you had really small hands, you might find this a little bit uh, large. So what about vacuum suction? Let's take a quick look at this table. We've got three Dyson cordless machines here, and across the top, three power modes, Eco, Medium, and Max. The figures here are in air watts, which is what Dyson uses to measure suction. The OmniGlide and Eco power mode, 11 air watts of suction. OmniGlide does not have a medium power mode. In Max power mode, it has 50 air watts of suction. Dyson V7 Eco power mode, 21 air watts of suction, almost double. What the Omni Glide has. Uh, does not have a medium power mode. In max power mode, the V7 has 100 air watts of suction, which is double what you get with the Omni Glide. And the V15 is one of the more powerful uh, cordless machines from Dyson. Eco power mode, 26 air watts of suction. Medium power mode, 47 air watts of suction. Max power, mo max power mode, 230 air watts of suction. Substantially more powerful than the Omni Glide. Despite the vacuum having lower suction figures than some of Dyson's other cordless machines, we have found pickup on hard surfaces to be very, very good. I think that is in no small part due to these brush rolls. We've tested other Dyson machines with soft brush rolls and they do a really good job on hard flooring. Well, this unit has two of them. These things make constant contact with the floor when you're vacuuming. Um, perhaps some of those lower suction figures may come into play if you're dealing with heavier debris. 
The Omni Glide has a pretty small dust canister. You can see it here, it's 0.19 liters. Um, I've got a few vacuums here for comparison purposes. This is the V15, that's the dust canister, you can see it there, much larger. It's the same uh, size, the V15, the V11, and the V10, they're all the same size at 0.76 liters. Um, that's the V7, the pink unit beside it. V7 and V8 both have a dust canister size of 0.53 liters. Again, still larger than the Omni Glide. At the far end, that's the Shark Wanvac system. We put that in there because that one has a smaller dust canister. You don't often see them that small. It's 0.12, so it's smaller than the Omni Glide. Still, this one is not large and you will probably find yourself having to empty it frequently, especially if you're doing uh, a fair bit of cleaning. I think the Omni Glide may be the lightest cordless vacuum we've had the opportunity to review to date. It weighs only 4.2 pounds, and that low weight also helps a lot with its maneuverability. Now, by comparison, that's your uh, V7 motor head. That's a uh, 5.5 pounds, still fairly lightweight. The far end is the Shark Vertex cordless, and that one tips the scale at 9 pounds, so quite a bit heavier. All in all, very lightweight unit. This is the vacuum wall mount. Now, I don't know if I'd really call it a wall mount. It's more of a holding bracket because it holds the upper part of the vacuum in place. Of course, it allows you to charge the unit as well. But uh, the bottom needs to be resting on the floor because this uh, wall mount doesn't hold the weight of the vacuum cleaner. So you can't put it up somewhere. It has to be at just the right height. Um, so the bottom of the machine can rest on the ground. Um, it's got a couple of screws or a couple of little strips, sticky strips, so you don't always have to put holes in the wall. So how about run times? It is a cordless machine. You probably want to know how much time you have before you have to recharge that battery again. Well, we found some numbers from Dyson, and those are the official run times, and those were for three different vacuum configurations. So let's take a quick look at that. Now your first configuration, eco power mode with a non-motorized tool. What that really means is uh, you're handheld with the non-motorized tool, a combo tool, in eco power mode. Dyson say 20 minutes. Well, we actually tested that. We ran this very configuration, fully charged battery, used a stopwatch, 27 minutes and 25 seconds, substantially longer, which is a good thing. Now, second configuration, eco power mode with a motorized tool. Well, the only motorized tool you get is the cleaner head you see here, the one with the dual brush rolls. So, what you do is you put your handheld on. It's effectively your stick vacuum. We ran that on our tile floor in eco power mode. Dyson say you should get about 18 minutes. We got 23 minutes and 43 seconds. Again, a big jump up, which is great. Um, and we ran the same test with the motorized tool uh, in max power mode. They say you should get about five minutes. We got eight minutes and 54 seconds, pretty close to nine minutes. So all of our tested run times were not just higher, I'd say substantially higher than the official run times, and that's good to see. Um, now, are these great? Yeah, they're, they're not bad. I mean, they're, these are, uh, you know, enough to allow you to do, I think, a small to medium-sized area. We have a digital noise level meter, and we use it to measure just how loud a vacuum cleaner is. Uh, we place it three feet in front of the vacuum cleaner head, turn it on, and record peak decibels. Now, we've done that for a host of cordless uh, vacuum cleaners, and we've got some of them in this table. You can see the Omni Glide in blue. In low power, it was 70.6 decibels, which is kind of average and indeed fairly comfortable to work with. In max power, it went up to 76, a little loud perhaps, but still not too bad. So, the vacuum is not designed for carpet at all. Also, if you had a lot of hair to deal with, maybe you got shedding pets, the hair does tend to get tangled in the brush rolls. You would have to clean them frequently. And if you have a really large home, well, this is a pretty compact machine. This cleaner head is quite narrow. You'd find yourself having to do a lot of passes. Uh, the uh, run time, well, while it was better than expected, it still might be a little short for a really large place. You could take advantage of the fact that it's a swappable battery and buy yourself a second one, but then you're still going to have to contend with this really small dust canister. You may find yourself having to empty the unit frequently, and it's also not great at picking up large debris. But if you have a small to medium sized place, you know, it's compact, it's lightweight, it's easy to maintain. 
It's a stick vacuum and a handheld vacuum. Um, it, the cleaner head itself is very maneuverable. You can move it around, in and around, all sorts of furniture. The unit will lie completely flat, and that allows you to get under really low furniture. Um, it's very good at picking up small to medium sized debris on hard flooring. On this tile floor in one pass, our pickup was over 99%, and it's also pretty good at edge cleaning. So it should be a good vacuum for you if you get it for the right reasons. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing.